Okay, this is just a quick update on the plants. I was going through my the, all the videos I've taken and trying to get them ready to post because I'm so far behind. I've got a couple months worth of videos I'm going to be slamming all up at once. But uh, the other video is just a couple weeks old uh, and it was on all the different plants that I just put in the grow beds and they were all tiny at the time. Okay, uh, you see here the broccoli's coming along the celery even though it's getting too warm for it is doing okay and i actually have blossoms on the yellow squash now I've got some blooms i've also got some problems i'm going to have to take care of as well uh need to get some neem oil or something all the broccoli that's scattered in amongst the squash is doing just fine even though it's being shaded a little bit and it's coming along and you notice the squash plants just all exploded uh, even the zucchini over there is starting to have buds for blooms uh, all of them are starting to develop buds so the squash is doing great the plants that we're planted in with it's doing great the snow peas are doing okay they don't have anything to climb on so they're not really taking off I'm gonna be putting up a see they got blooms there I'm gonna be putting up a, a lattice back behind these uh, well wire fencing behind them to give all that stuff somewhere to grow on uh, the cantaloupes that I have down in here aren't doing real well I think it's still just a little bit cold for them since they're really a warm weather plant uh, the one on the other side is doing okay though uh, considering how crowded these beds are I think the plants are all doing great uh, yeah this this snow pea is doing good that cantaloupe back there is doing good so but then if you move over here most of the radishes I've already pulled because they're growing so fast they're doing just like this one did. They're actually bursting open and that one's got a dead bug on it. Okay, So they, they grew so fast they were they, I let them go too far and they were starting to rupture so I was gonna leave a couple in to let them go to seed but these are cracking so much I think I'm gonna go with a different variety next time anyway. So wasn't much sense saving for seeds. Now, in this one, a little bit of broccoli here doing okay. The uh, cauliflower is starting to get on up. Uh, the broccoli's back here are doing okay. The whatever varieties these are, these are lima. This is lima. This one's not doing so great. Uh, something's eating at the leaves down there. Uh, but these which I think are Kentucky Wonder they're doing excellent you see the flowers starting to come in on them on all of them so and you see how tall this one is now that one's probably about two and a half foot tall if not three feet there so they're getting on up there and then here's another one of those radishes that you can see where it burst on that side and on that side it just split down the middle they're growing too fast uh, the chard's not doing very well for some reason. I don't know if that was just a bad plant to start with or what, because it never did much in the seed tray either. These two cucumbers are coming along just great. Uh, jump over to the next bed. The purple hole are all doing fine. Uh, the turnips are coming along. A couple of them went kind of leggy for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm sure the turnip will still develop. Uh, the, the rest of them are doing good. The mustard greens are taking off. For some reason, the peppers that I put in here aren't doing real great. They're kind of slow to, to begin coming along, but we'll see. I stuck one little eggplant seedling back there uh, a little over a week ago, and it's trying to come along. Next bed over, I don't remember what kind of bean or pea this is. I think it's uh, kidneys. Uh, one there, one there. No, these are the purple hole, purple hole, purple hole. Those were the kidneys over there. Then I've got uh, eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. When I first put these eggplants in here, they were tiny. They just had the beginning leaves on them. They didn't have any of the adult plant leaves, true leaves. Now those true leaves are starting to come in. Uh, the one little tomato I stuck in here without thinking there was an eggplant there is still okay. Uh, this bed's doing similar to one of the other beds, but it's draining properly, so. Anyway, then I've got the white cabbage or green cabbage, whatever you want to call it, four of those, uh, one, two, three, four red cabbage, but something has gotten a hold of these leaves on the red cabbage. 
and it's tearing it up. So I've got to find out what's going on there. Maybe spray some neem oil. Uh, figure something out. I've got to do organic whatever I do. But I've got to... I think part of it, I'm getting a lot of little sugar ants up here on the beds. Uh, so I think if I put... I've got some diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth, yeah. Diatomaceous earth, I'm going to spread around the footings on the ground and see if that stops the ants and other crawling insects from coming up because I haven't seen any type of worms or flying insects that are actually eating into anything so but the couple of fluoridated tomatoes I stuck over here are starting to come up uh, now remember all this stuff was so small in the first video you couldn't even see most of it and it's only been about a week and a half two weeks uh, two weeks I think since that video so um, but then a couple of the floor this bed developed a problem and I didn't know it uh, the siphon was stuck uh, the way these two beds are I didn't put enough support underneath them so they started sagging in the middle so yesterday I had to jack them up put a 2 by 4 under them that's helping them stop sagging in the middle but it also allowed me to get them up above the drain a little bit more because what happened was their the tubes going from the auto siphons to the drains underneath went out of level so the water going down the auto siphon was running uphill so even though the bed would drain down most of the way the siphon would never break uh, so they both of these two beds were just continually draining uh, never filling up so that's why these tomatoes aren't doing real good the two are that are real close to the output here are doing good the cucumbers are actually I've got flowers starting on this one uh, Flowers starting over there, flowers there, flowers there, uh, blooms, whatever you want to call them. So the cucumbers are starting to do good, and they're going to climb whatever I put back there behind them as well. Now, so now that the water is circulating properly, hopefully all these tomatoes have some mix of Floridade and Rutgers, and I probably need to thin them out, going by how the Roma over here exploded. And then the six Roma that I planted over here uh, that were suckers that I just cut and stuck down in all six of them made it all six of them rooted even with the problems I was having with this bed this one's actually got blooms coming in on it see there and there this one died off it self pruned it I guess uh, so with it was lacking water but uh, so these six should just tear tear through because the this is just three Roma tomato plants there uh, they just went crazy. They love this kind of a system and they're buried with tomatoes I mean everywhere you look all the clusters of tomatoes are coming in you got there There heck that's one two three four six in that one little cluster. There's another uh, six there There's three definitely fertilized four definitely fertilized maybe more another six or so more new blooms coming in new blooms coming in new blooms coming in tomatoes tomatoes i'm sorry i know i'm stuffing the camera in too much i need to work on my more tomatoes here more tomatoes there um trying to find the largest one that i had seen it was back over here i thought that's not it though but tomatoes down in there tomatoes coming here i mean these plants just went everywhere it, it was crazy uh, the way these things went off. There's a couple of celery plants down underneath there that are actually still growing, uh, amazingly. So the tomatoes are going to do great, so I'm definitely going to have to thin these down, <laughs> most definitely. So, But at any rate, this is the bed that was the emergency system. I moved it while it was full. Uh, it used to be about where this pallet base is right here that's where I ignore all the buckets and pails and stuff that scattered around I'm still working on everything but that's where that bed was I slid it into the back of my pickup truck pulled the truck around to this side over here where you see those the PVC on the ground backed it up and slid it out uh, on a couple of two buys and dropped it right down on the blocks. It worked like a charm. I was actually surprised it went so well. But anyway, I had some radishes down in here that are still alive, uh, that are still trying to come along. Uh, I'm surprised though with it doing the constant drain thing on me, uh, that the radishes made it. 
I've got some budding, the young eggplants that were in here are still alive and trying to come along. Dang them little black flies, I gotta spray for them or something. But, so everything's trying to come right along. Uh, the broccoli is doing great. I'm really happy with the broccoli now. It's up around uh, two foot, uh, it's doing wonders. Uh, like I said, the eggplants that were seedlings when I put them in here are starting to come up and the radishes are, are still trying. That one right there, trying to see how big of a bud it's got. It's just barely starting to develop a root. Uh, so, but the, the broccoli's doing fine. The hot pepper is doing great. It's got little peppers all over it. And if you can see all those little white blooms on it, it's just covered up in blooms up here. So I'm sure it's gonna give me more than enough peppers for <laughs> me to make a couple batches of, of hot sauce for myself. I'm the only one that uses it. Uh, I like it on my greens, but you can see them coming in down here. I, I forget what variety these were. I thought they were Tabasco, but they're not. So I'm gonna have to look it back up, but there they are right there, uh, coming in just fine. There's a bunch of them. It's hard to do this one-handed. Bunch of them back there, if you can see those peppers. One there, there, there 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 and it just runs all the way back covered up in hot peppers back here so you see there's uh five of them right there so they're doing great the eggplant's still blooming but most of the blooms bloom and then fall off uh they're not really getting fertilized so that one might have been i think that one might have gotten fertilized so we'll just have to wait and see this one definitely did okay good some of them are starting to get fertilized again I picked the first uh, fruit off this one, and yes, eggplants are fruits. Uh, they're considered berries, like uh, blueberry uh, in the, that family. But picked the first fruit off this plant uh, day before yesterday. I need to go ahead and eat it, but this one's coming along great. Uh, so I'm hoping all this stuff starts to do even better now that I've got water coming to it. Uh, if you look back in here, bell peppers, coming in like crazy back here uh, they're all over the place another one there um, more back here more coming in uh, it's just amazing as densely packed as I have this one bed what it's producing so if I can get the other beds in and going I'm sure that I can provide me and my wife our kids uh, my mom and dad my brother and his family both my brothers and their families my sister and my brother-in-law with any vegetables they want uh, hopefully get, once I get this up and going it'll save all of us a ton of money at the grocery store uh, we're gonna have fish to eat we're gonna have uh, all the vegetables we can stand uh, judging by off how this one bed is doing I mean I've got tomatoes bell peppers hot peppers broccoli uh, celery radishes eggplants all in that one bed and all of them producing prolifically off of just a couple of fish I have over there. And considering all the other plants that are planted here uh, that are trying to get nutrients off. Hush, hush. Dog's going crazy because the wife just pulled up. Uh, it sounds like he's in pain, but he's just, I see him over there, he's just uh, excited because the wife's home. Okay. He's, he's fine. I hate it when he does that though. Neighbors probably think we're beating him. Uh, but anyway, so everything is just uh, going like gangbusters. I'm really happy with the system, so I need to get the rest of the yard, get every, all the debris and, and everything picked up and try to get uh, started on the rest of the system and get something else going. But after I saw that video of the, uh, sorry about the shaking, still bad about that, uh, of where I'd first planted all this stuff, I just wanted to do another video real quick. I'll date them and figure out uh, how long it's actually been and post both of them up on YouTube at the same time. So, but there you have it.